Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good day everyone welcome back to this part 2 uh, topic 3 water, re water reticulation works uh, so uh, we will start straight away with where we stop in the part 1 so in the part 2 we'll be looking at the method of jointing the pipes the pipes is normally being supplied from the factory in a standard sizes and need to be jointed on site so there are common uh, commonly there are four types of jointing uh, there are many types of jointing out there but i'll be introducing to you in these exercises four types of jointing uh, first is called a keep out joints flange joint welded joint and also butt fusion joint and all of the jointing uh, they have a different functions uh, and also a different usage uh, in a situation so uh, the first one is a keep out joint uh, this is normally looking like uh, a, a drum something like that and then uh, this is a uh, a coupling uh, they have a coupling and together with a bolt and nuts okay and this is a flange joint uh, normally for the changes of directions of the pipes and connection of the pipes and this is a flange joint Ex another another example okay this is a um, uh, weld joints but weld joints and uh, normally this is for the steel pipes Okay, it looks like like this okay this is the workers is uh, doing the uh, welding jobs on site and but fusion look will look like this it has like uh, some shapes and but fusion jointing is using a thermal thermal fusion process which involves the simultaneous heating of the um, the steel oh uh, yeah so this is the actual photos that i've taken uh, when i went for a site visit with the students in your attempts uh so uh please ignore the shoes there are a lot of colors of shoes here uh just focus on the piping uh, for example here we have a give up joint this is what we call the give up joint the flash joint do you have any welding here? Not, I cannot see any welding works here, but uh, this is the actual piping looks like. Okay, this is also a flange joint. Okay. Right. And also this is a flange joint. Okay, this is how you write this in your um, description for the, you know, uh, the pipes and so on. Okay, for bands, uh, T's, uh, all of these it fittings, it should be referred to V.5.4. V.5.4, it says, by fitting, okay, shall uh, each be described and enumerated, which means the pipe should be in numbers as extra over uh, the pipes in which they occur. Cutting and jointing the pipes to fittings and providing everything necessary for jointings shall be deemed to be included so uh it is so if you have mat bands it should be measured separately and truss anchor blocks should be measured in number stating the size size quality and the kind of the truss and the anchor block this is the example of pipes and five pipe fittings uh here we have the t if you can have a look at the t and this is a band the band right okay 90 degrees band and 45 degrees band depends on the usage for that particular pipes okay this is a sample entry in the pq uh we have extra over so uh, remember it is enumerated in numbers so it should be measured as extra over uh, and you mentioned what kind of uh, 
fittings that you are using is it band 90 degrees or band 45 degrees or is it t equal t and equal t okay uh, whether it is horizontal or vertical it should be mentioned clearly as well including uh, the truss block size uh, including the framework and necessary excavation for the the truss block Okay, fittings valve, it should be measured in number, uh, mentioned in the um, size quality, okay, what type of valve they are using. There are four, right, uh, that I mentioned previously. There are a lot more, but in this lecture, uh, I'll be introducing you with four. And size of pipe to be jointed, uh, excavations, disposal of supplies uh, and support, if any, need to be mentioned in your descriptions okay um flange uh get valve okay uh this flange get valve is to um control the water flow um in your particular water water reticulation works and the x section yeah, uh, of the gut get valve yeah? and this is the a valve and normally uh to control the water pressure in your water reticulation system uh, and normally uh, we have another item called valve chamber measure in meter as well sorry measure in number describe size kind and quality of the chamber chamber um, it looks like this okay this is what we call as a chamber this is a chamber ignore the shoes as well Okay, and this is where they are um, placing the, what we call as the, the buff. Okay, so you can mention this in your description, in your BQ, whether it is a single um, swivel valve or a score valve. Or a valve so it should be mentioned your the diameter of the pipe as well and then all necessary support works and so on uh, and um, it has to follow the engineer's drawing okay so that there is no um, contradict uh, details from your BQ and the drawing provided to you and everything is described in one description and the unit is in number okay, example of a swift valve pillar hydrant i'm very sure you i'm very sure you know the function of pillar hydrant and it should be measured measured in numbers as well and we have another call item called pipe support uh, this is where uh, the suspended uh, pipe and you need a pipe support it should be measured uh, in numbers as well mentioning describing everything including the excavation foundation the piers the support and so on example of a pipe support how this pipe support carry uh, the piping's work Another example of pipe support. So pipe crossing and band. Um, it's a best practice to measure under a spread subheading for this pipe crossing. You need measurement for the pipe is in a meter run starting the method of jointing of the pipes. Okay, the mat band are enumerated stating the kind, quality and method of jointing to the pipes. And the A valve is enumerated stating its kind, quality method of fixing to pipe what does it mean is that if you have item for pipe crossing um, it should be measured under a spread subheading which means in your uh, heading there will be a water reticulation work and there will be another subheading called pipe crossing this is the example of a pipe crossing okay and then pipe crossing and the a valve remember above it should be measured in enumerator the pipe should be in meter the band man -man band okay okay typical items are huh? mat bands um uh including the anchor block uh 
mat bands above the ground in numbers okay numbers huh? and the pipe in meter pipe support in number unequality in number evolve in number painting in meter for the hydrant um, item involved, measure in details under the uh, pillar hydrants uh, heading, which means previously you have a subheading for the pipe crossing, and now you have a subheading for the hydrant. So these are the typical items under hydrant. You have a duck foot band. So this is what we call as a duck foot band. Get valve, T, flange adapter, and so on. And um, this is how you describe. Uh, okay, uh, your um, double flange pillar hydrant uh, in numbers. So, which means all of this item that being mentioned previously will be measured in one description, and it is in number. So you need to count how many pillar hydrants that you have in your drawing. But descriptions. It should be a very long description describing everything in that pillar hydrants uh, uh, taking off. Okay, this is what we call as a truss block. Bulk meter set. Okay, I'm very sure you have seen this bulk meter uh, when you, uh, you know, pass by your items from what if you're entering your items from what there will be a bulk meter side in front in front of the main main gate okay um there will be um a suction tank okay to um to help to um for the water pressure and so on okay these are the components of a bulk meter before the meter which means you have item for get valve Okay, to control the water flow and so on. We have Y strainer here. This is what we call a Y strainer. And we have reducer. This is what we call as a reducer. This is Y strainer. And we have a concrete support here. And here is the meter. And this is after the bulk meter. We have a short piece here. And we have a reducer. Okay, A valve, get valve, the bands, and the concrete support again. Okay, A valve is to control the what the air the air uh, pressure. Uh, reducer is for the different sizes of a pipe. Okay, this is how this bulk meter looks like. Very sure you have seen this. Okay, I hope that um when you are uh looking um studying uh reflecting back on the bulk meter items you are able to identify what is this blue components what the white components okay the meter uh, i'm very sure if you are able to identify all the components just, just by looking at the components without any annotation i'm very sure you are able to uh, to write a good descriptions for the items uh, that is why you need before you do a taking off it's good that for you to really understand your drawing and really uh, able to identify and pick it uh, pick up all those small small items in the drawing all right Okay, this is about meter uh, components, and uh, these are the typical items in the bulk meter set. But remember, it's all measured in numbers, so you need you just need to describe all of this in one description. Example of um, description of a bulk meter pipe marker. Uh, pipe marker normally just to tell you the location of a pipe so that uh, it's very easy for them to uh, track back the location of pipes okay measure also in number you need to mention the kind quality size method of fixing this pipe marker lastly is uh, the item for testing you need to 
uh, allow you need to allow item for testing uh, for your uh, particular uh, water reticulation of course connection to mains uh, and testing for the water pressure i think uh, is um, that's about it thank you very much see you at part three